Sorry the video got cut off in part three, so we'll just kind of continue on now. I uh, just wanted to have some final thoughts about um, what you may want to do as far as uh, using battery power here. I was using a uh, Duracell alkaline battery, but I found something that's uh, much better, probably cheaper in the long run to use, and that is this, uh, this battery here, uh, which is a lithium polymer uh, battery that I uh, got on uh, Amazon and uh, this is rechargeable um, I bought a two-pack and then it comes uh, in this little pack here and uh, with it comes a, a little charging cable USB to uh, dual uh, Y connector USB uh, C's because at the bottom of of the battery is a USB C charging uh, connector and you see that little little hold that's just to the left that is a LED light when it's red it needs charging when it's green it's fully charged so um, you get a lot of charges out of these and you know what these really last a long time I've operated the fan on this one here for an hour and 18 minutes uh, these put out 9.1 volts and for an hour and 18 minutes it was still running at 9.1 volts and uh, with no signs of giving up. <laughs> so that's long enough for me. And uh, these are 1300 um, milliamp -year hour batteries. So that's quite a little punch and a little package. So uh, that's what I recommend. And then you can also um, do as I suggested here is uh, elongate a hole in the bottom of the battery uh, holder. And then you just simply take your USB and plug it in. Uh, right here you don't have to take the battery out you could just leave it in place and uh, just plug your USB C in there and I can also see the lighting in there you could drill a little hole to the left of the elongated uh, a hole that I have here to see the LED much better but I actually can see through um, through the case here I can see the LED whether it's red or green so that's what I recommend for you there and I also did rec make a recommendation for a, a grill cover to keep your fingers uh, from getting chopped up if you want to uh, you can take a wall wart like I did here and you can uh, go ahead and uh, run 12 volts on it and you'll get a lot more power you'll get a lot more air power so that is really quite a blast of air so that's something to think about too you can uh, notch this out right here and put the cover on it and you can just use the external power source the last thing i'm going to say before we uh, shut this down is uh, you might go looking at some of the um, different cooler fans from uh, CPUs from desktop computers and uh, if you'll notice it has uh, it's bigger has a bigger fan it has some uh, really really gigantic uh, cooling fins there and, an, and a heat sink on top so you could mount your flange resistors across this way straddling these uh, straddling these uh, heat tubes so that could be a project in the future you don't want to drill into these tubes though because they're um, they're, vac they're in a vacuum and they have some moisture inside there and that's part of the process where it carries this uh, vaporized moisture down into the uh, cooler part of the fins to uh, cool this uh, coal plate down. So that's just an idea too. You can use something like this and um, actually mount this on top and uh, as close as possible. So that's it, folks. Uh, I think that's all I have to say for now. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, just go ahead and put them below, and I'll be glad to answer them. So 73s for now, and let's get on to some more new projects. Thank you for watching.